Welcome to Sidebar, presented by Law & Crime. I'm Jesse Weber. We are still reeling from the revelations in the Ruby Frankie materials release from last week. These videos, body cam, audio, journal entries. We did a whole sidebar on it. Encourage everybody to check it out. It was a good summation of everything that was released. But there is one central issue that we want to focus on right now, and that concerns Kevin Frankie, the estranged husband of Ruby Frankie. He filed for divorce against her in the wake of her arrest. But what he said in his interviews with the Santa Clara Ivans police force, the police investigators, is so fascinating. We're going to get into that. Now, of course, the family rose to fame starting in 2015 when Ruby and Kevin started the A Passengers YouTube channel, chronicled their lives along with their six children. Ruby posted dozens and dozens of videos offering advice and everything from marriage and child care to cooking to religion. But there was this backlash against the Frankies and A-Passengers in the last few years after they were accused of child abuse and child neglect by people who watched these videos, especially after a video was published seemingly revealing that the couple's oldest son, Chad, had been sleeping on a beanbag chair for months as a form of punishment. And that brings us to 2023, when Ruby had stopped posting to the A-Passengers channel. Eventually, YouTube took the whole channel down, although there was never a specific reason given for that. Ruby had been working alongside a Utah therapist, Jody Hildebrandt, on Jody's life coaching business called Connections. But then we fast forward to August 30th, 2023. That's when police arrested both Ruby and Jody. They find Ruby's two youngest children, 12-year-old RF, 10-year-old EF, emaciated, malnourished, injuries. In fact, RF had wounds indicating that he had been severely tied up. Her two middle children had apparently been left in the care of another Connections team member, Pam. I'm sorry, I forgot to turn on the mic. Guys, um, um, does anyone believe that Kevin Frankie uh, was unaware of all these things? That he didn't see his children um, for over a year? And what kept him away from his children? Was it a court order? I don't think so. What it was was his fear of Jody Hildebrandt and of his wife. And some of the things with, that we learned about uh, in this hearing, in, in this interview, I mean, I, I had very little respect for him to begin with. The guy's a wimp, you know? If he let these things happen, I'm just totally blown away. And then as he supposedly just learns of the abuse for the first time, I'm, I'm just shocked. I just can't. I just cannot accept that. Botcher when Ruby was arrested. The two oldest were over the age of 18. They'd moved out on their own. But the way this all went down is that RF managed to escape Jody's home, alert a neighbor to his dire situation, which set this whole thing in motion. Yes. Hi, how is this? Wondering if you could do two favors for me. Um, I taking me to the nearest police station. Well, actually, this one's fine. What's going on, son? I have a seat there. It's personal business. Could you imagine this poor kid is talking this way? Could you take me to the nearest police station? And he's almost like embarrassed to report it, this poor little kid. And then, you know, in, in this... In this vein, you think of this savage Jody Hildebrand and Ruby Frankie, too, for the abuse they're piling on these kids. What's your name? The neighbor saw the condition RF was in, immediately called for the police. And when they got to Jody's home, she answered the door and seemed shocked to see a contingent of officers. Open the door! Jody, can you step uh, out? I have, I yeah, she was so shocked that she's on the phone with her attorney. That's how shocked she was. She wasn't shocked. 
you know, I think she was expecting this call any day. But no, she's not shocked. How is she on the phone with her attorney? And you know something, what the sergeant says is when she gets all testy about him opening the door, uh, they don't need a search warrant now because they have uh, imminent danger to to the, the children who's ever in there. So they can do what's called uh, the emergency exception to a search warrant. So they can go through your house and search it until the emergency is over. Then after that, but she's, you could see she's really slick and she's on the phone with her attorney as if that's going to intimidate the police. I have my attorney. That's great. Step out of the house. No, I'm not going to step out of the house. Step out of the house. Step out of the house. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're just going to step out of the house. Wait a minute. How did you come to my house? Right there. Inside the house, officers found EF, Ruby's youngest child, in what appears to be a closet, possibly mistaking her for a boy due to her condition. You come in, my buddy. I, I'm a police officer. Are you going for the union here? Hey, you okay? Is this just you in here? I'm Sergeant Tobler. What's your name? I just have one. Officers arrest both Ruby and Jody, taking them down to the police station. Now, during all... Ruby so invited me to... They arrest Ruby and Jody on the scene, right? And when we look at those horrific injuries that the kids had, uh, this apparently is... Um, uh, Elaine McKenzie, yes, uh, the cop says that's great step. She says I'm on I'm on the phone with my attorney. Like that's going to scare the officer. Uh, but the officers have what's called imminent danger, and they don't need a search warrant. They can even take her out of the house and lock her up out. Normally, to arrest someone in their home, and that's why he wanted her outside. You need an arrest warrant and a search warrant. So they had neither, but. Because of uh, the emergency exception to a search warrant, they they pulled her out of the house and then they searched the house. So yes, that was great. They, the officer says, "Great, you're on the phone with your attorney. You step out of the house, and you see how shocked she was when he physically removed her from her house." 